What is going on guys? Nameless here bringing you a brand new video and I know it's been a couple of days since my last upload but that is because I was on vacation. I had a couple uploads scheduled but for the last couple of days I decided to just enjoy myself, relax and get ready for the grind that's to come. So the next couple of weeks we're gonna have some non-stop content and I'm excited for the journey. All right, guys, so we left off, you know, talking about sort of some of the roster movement that was happening, rumored teams, rumored players coming from different games. But today I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about this Paris Legion squad. They've been in the news. There's been a lot of players and people in the community talking about Paris Legion and what they should do for their future roster. Now, there's a lot of rumors floating around. Nobody from Paris has directly released a statement. The only thing that Paris has done so far is they've released everybody on their roster from the last year. They let out a tweet saying thank you for the year. But we'll be seeing you guys later. So you can see right here, it says official statement. We want to thank all these fantastic players that fought until the last second of the season with pride. We wish them the best of the luck. We wish them the best of luck in the future. In Garde, Paris Legion emoji. You know, although this team did have some success uh, early in the season and then that one miraculous run later in the season, they were pretty lackluster throughout the entire year. I mean, they were a team that was at the bottom of the barrel. So, you know, seeing this happening, you would think that they have some big things planned and that this was something that they were ready for to release everybody to start and rebuild and acquire some big names and some good talent from the Call of Duty scene. You know, downsizing to 4v4, that's one less player that you have to pay for. It opens up your salary cap a little bit. You can pay players a little bit more. You can acquire some big talent and actually make waves in the next season. There's a lot of players that are unrestricted free agents at that, so you don't even have to buy them from another team. We'll go into that a little bit later, but... Paris is set up in a position where they can acquire some players and have a lot better of a team than last year. So you can do your fans right right now by building a solid roster, but it seems that they don't really have a plan and we're going to go into it right now. So a lot of teams have been making moves in the offseason, picking up some big name players. I mean, you look at New York, you look at Minnesota, you look at some of these teams that have pretty much rebranded their entire roster, picked up some players from other teams that had success this year and some big names in the history of Call of Duty. But if you look at what Intel Call of Duty has tweeted, and big shout out to Crone over there, I like what he's doing, releasing some big info. He's pretty much the top uh, Call of Duty journalist right now, and this is what he said. Help Paris Legion build a roster. Here's the rules. They want a top six, ro top six roster. They're only offering 50K salaries. Must have mostly French players. Hydra is not available because you didn't lock him in weeks ago. No NA players, EU players, okay. So basically what he's saying here is these are the rumors of the restrictions that Paris is pretty much putting on their team. Uh, the GM wants to have an all French team. They only want to pay their players $50,000. Um, and they want a top six roster. I mean, this is a lot to ask for. If you look across the board in the CDL, a lot of the players are making more than 50K. I know you guys don't know the salaries, but I do. And I will tell you that you're not going to get away with playing your players $50,000 across the board and have a top six roster. It's just not going to freaking happen, guys. It's not possible. There's some players that are making upwards above $300,000. And there's no way that you're going to get away with paying your entire roster 250k if you want a top 16. Now I get the wanting to have an entirely French roster, and I, I get that that is a goal, and that would be fantastic for Call of Duty esports. And I would actually love to see that happen, but I just don't think that right now in the landscape of Call of Duty that you can have an all French team with the amount of talent that's out there. I don't think you can have an all French team and compete at a high level. I mean, I think there are some talented French players out there. If you're able to snag Hydra, you know, you can maybe make a make moves to have an all French roster in the future but to do it right now i don't think it makes a lot of sense with some of the players that are free agents and on top of that to pay fifty thousand dollars for all of these players i mean it just seems a little bit disrespectful uh the, the way that they're they're going about it if these are these things are true these are obviously rumors but I am leaning towards believing them because otherwise they would have announced a player by now. So you can see some players were already going ahead and tweeting them. I mean, Parasite was tweeting myself and anyone. He's tagging Scraps and Wuskin. You can see Wuskin said, sign me and my bro up free of charge. We're not even asking for any money. I just got something to prove. I mean, that is insane. If you think about it, a player of Wuskin stature, obviously he probably isn't going to play for zero dollars. But if he's saying that he'll play for the 50K minimum that they're offering, why isn't Paris jumping? at the opportunity to sign a player like Weskin and Scraps. These guys have competed and gotten top four. They've gotten top two at tournaments. These are great players. You have an opportunity to pick them up right now. I just don't understand why you wouldn't sign them, right? Like you don't have anybody on your team. Even Parasite says, I'll pay for free if it means beating some of these clowns. Like you can give these guys opportunities and 
if you scroll down here, guys, this is a Reddit post um, of the Roster Mania Mega Thread where it shows all the, all the movement of players, the amount of talent that is free agents right now that are unrestricted at that, that Paris has an opportunity to sign is mind boggling there's not going to be an opportunity like this in call of duty again this is a a weird year where a lot of players because we went to 4v4 are unrestricted free agents because teams don't want to pay them during the off season this is an opportunity where you get a free rebuild you don't have to spend a lot of money this is almost like saying you have to do it i mean look at this list right let's talk about a gun list free agent obviously you might have some plans to go somewhere else you look at saints you look at apathy you enable slack temp uh, Looney, uh, I mean, the list goes on and on. Uh, you, historical players like Jared, uh, Assault, like these players are free agents that you can sign and build a team around. You can get a good sub, a good backup. Scraps, Weskin, um, Zero, Dylan, Red, and Madcap. I mean, Prestige, there's so many players on this list, guys. I can go on for days talking about all these players and the rosters that you can build. But this comes down to the Paris management, and I am confused as to what their plan is. But I hope that they build a good roster because I want all 12 teams in the league to be extremely solid because I want the competitiveness of the league to be the highest that it's ever been. With the drop from 5v5 to 4v4, and the amount of talent that we got from challengers last year coming up, and the amount of players that have turned 18, this is a prime opportunity for Call of Duty to ascend to be one of the most competitive esports on the planet. We have enough talent. It's only 12 teams. It's 4v4. We can have 12 amazing teams this year. And Paris needs to buckle down and make some smart moves. And, you know, I think this is the community's opportunity to call them out, and especially the fans. You have a duty right now. You have a civil service to call out your team and tell them to do some big things. And, you know, a rebuild year, obviously, you might not want to spend the most money, but paying the minimum to all your players probably isn't going to work out. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much all I have on the Paris Legion. Uh, I just wanted to update you guys on the situation and what was basically going on. Uh, shout out to Intel Call of Duty for dropping that knowledge bomb on the timeline. But anyways, guys, more content to come. I'm back from vacation. I'm feeling good. Also got a little bit of a tan. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.